he didn't come to me. Uh, it was just a, a conversation, a phone call the night before the team got announced. Uh, it was just a, this, this is what I'm feeling. Um, I said to him that I think it's too late, but I'll, I'll check in with the, the coach and the selectors the next morning to, to hear their opinion on it. Um, as the squad was already announced or um, picked, um, but that day was the announcement when I spoke to the coach and the selectors the next day all agreed that it was way, way uh, too late to, to, to change a team on 99.99. Yeah, I don't think, I think a little bit of both. I think to say not, no, it didn't, but to say yes, it, it unites us as a team. Um, we do feel like the news came in and came and like just went through the team. Uh, it didn't have a, a huge impact. You know, there was just a discussion on, on clarity and on making sure that everyone knows what's going on. Um, and then it was moving on. Uh, the team was happy to yeah, just get on with business. Uh, but it is stuff like that. Generally, you feel like um, you can, it can make you, uh, give you direction in your team and give you purpose to, to focus on what lies ahead. Uh, the horse is out the shed, if that's the right wording. Um, you know, we wanted to play a full game today. I think it's pretty obvious that when you play a team like West Indies, you want to play a full 100 over game. I'm um, just a makeup of their side. Um, so disappointing in the fact that we didn't get a game, you know, it's important for us to get cricket in now and, and start ticking over. Um, but we control, we can't control the weather. So as a team, you know, taking one point, um, now we move move forward to the next week. Um, Ash is a class player. Uh, you know, it's tough on, on a wicket like that, starting opening up the innings. You need, you need a bit of luck to go your way. And if you get through that first 10, 15 overs, that's when the score scums. You know, we've seen over the last game and today that that first 10 overs can be a little bit trickier. There is a bit more pace and, and bounce in the wicket. Um, and the nature of it, it does get, you do lose wickets. Um, so yeah, I'll be disappointed that he got out today, but he has been hitting the ball really well in the net. So we just, we're hoping that it's around the corner for him. You know, he played a really good innings um, leading up to the two the two games leading up to the World Cup um, against West Indies when they were bowling quick there. So I think, like most of our batters, you know, it's just a case of getting in and uh, getting those starts converted into runs. Um, there's two phases of, of what's been disappointing in the batting is a lot of starts um, and also a few guys looking to get to get starting. Yeah, I think the nature of um, generally when you when you're chasing. It always favours the, the team batting second. You know the nature of, you know we batted seven overs there, not expecting a, a shortened game. So the pace that you go at, and then losing two wickets. Um, so then, but even with around, you know, in my mind when I was looking about 30, 35 overs, I, I was still feeling like if you get a score 200 and two, you know 200 plus, I do feel there was enough in that wicket with our batting attack, um, especially playing Buren today as well. You know, extra seamer. Um, but you're right, the, the, the further the game goes, um, closer to a T20 game being two down already, um, the, the odds are heavily in their, in their favour. So, you know, as, as it got a little bit later in, in the day, obviously, then you, you'd rather get the point and go. Yeah, we wanted him to be ready for today, um, you know, purely from the fact that it feels like every game is a must win game for us at the moment. Um, but with Lungi, um, the amount of bowling that he's been doing this tournament, he actually hasn't bowled a lot, you know, and then he picks up an injury and it's probably on that verge of can he and can't he play. So just the pure fact that he hasn't really bowled a lot of overs, um, we just feel like it's more important for him to just have another three or four days to build up his loads again to get him so that he could bowl eight, nine, ten overs. Uh, and I mean, luckily for us, uh, today wasn't a lot of cricket, so we can we can throw him straight into the game the next game.